Greetings, Laddingtons. Today I want to respond to the question how to build a massive chest. Now, there is only one way if you are a natural. That means if you don't take steroids. The only way is to get as strong as possible in the bench press. If you look for an answer elsewhere, you will be disappointed. So, the only thing you need to think about if you want to build a solid upper body is how to gain as much strength in the bench press as possible. Fortunately, I have a good insight to share and that is that you should try small of junior for the bench press. Now you can find the calculator, you can find the schedule itself for free, just search for it and then you will find the calculator, put in your one repetition max or rather 10 kilos below your one repetition max then you put the increment to 2.5 kilograms or um, yeah, 5 uh, pounds because any higher increment per week will be too much will be too much in my um, experience at least so basically it is a 3 week schedule for times a week I have composed for the Physique Manufactorum it's also available on Gumroad you can find all the links in the description box below I composed a schedule you can use to train around the small of because the calculator you can find it's only for the bench press. Now the main philosophy when training around the small of junior for the bench press is to do lighter exercises, lighter in the sense that you don't tax your body. And what I mean with that is you know your entire structure, so your skeleton, your ligaments, your bones, your joints, stuff like that because the bench press it will be so heavy for your body so in your collarbone you can probably feel it I feel it at least during some sessions because it's so much pressure on on your structure so therefore I don't recommend that you train anything heavy in that sense so in the small of companion schedule I formulated and posted the squats they are high repetition so they are taxing on the muscles but not so much on the body itself so when you do the small of don't do any other heavy exercises that will take their toll on your your structure itself because it will be too much and you might have a hard time with the recovery so keep that in mind speaking of which also of course when we're talking about diet and sleep your sleep needs to be on point if you haven't slept enough then postpone the session for another day when you have slept enough because if you haven't then you probably won't be able to manage the session because you're so close to your limit every single time. So every single session is a competition. It's a fierce competition against uh, yourself. Now, it sounds like a hippie thing to say, oh, competing against yourself, but that's how you get stronger. That's how you get bigger. That's how you complete these sessions that you have to compete against yourself. So view it as a competition. You come in completely ready. You're well-rested you're well fed, calorie max, eat as much as possible, if you don't eat enough, you can't perform, you need to get the the cannons enough gunpowder to be able to work, then of course you need to have the right mentality as well, you can't just stroll into the gym with a low thumos mentality, you need to be aggressive, you need to view it as your chance to prove yourself, to push yourself to the limit, push it to the limit, as the song goes. So keep that in mind, otherwise you will not be able to finish the plan because it is brutal and it will take your full commitment to complete. Now personally, I don't know if you can see it, but I feel absolutely massive. I must take a picture in the gym to show this. I must post physique, I must post video so you can see how juicy I look. Um, I don't know if this does it justice, but yeah, I, I feel like the upper body has exploded in uh, juiciness over the last month. Only I can see a definite difference in the overall mass of my upper body since I have started to do this uh, small of junior exercises again. So I will post a training motivational video on it. It was a long time since I did. And I will show some uh, small of junior um, sessions. 
Now, a note on supplements, I thought to mention it, that you can take creatine monohydrate. It is completely safe to take and it will give you a slight advantage in any athletic performance. So it can be a good idea. We have it available in good old America now as well. Again, check out all the links in the description box below. It's not magic, it won't make a world of a difference, but when we're talking about a tough schedule such as Small of Junior, every little bit counts, every little bit can be the difference between actually managing a session or failing a session. So that can be a good idea, take some creatine monohydrate, otherwise make sure to carb max, carbohydrate max. If you don't, then you haven't given your cannons enough gunpowder. So view carbohydrates in that sense, it's a supplement you take for athletic performance. That is what carbohydrates, how you can view carbohydrates uh, at least. So of course, protein and fats are important, but when it comes to these heavy pushing exercises, carbohydrates are of utmost importance. So yeah, do check it out. I'm with you in spirit if you do try it out. And remember that every little thing you do will count to the session. So view the session as being a 24-hour affair that you know you need to sleep well, eat well, mentally load up. Make sure to listen to some good music as well before and during. And then you hit it with, um, with all your might. So, good times, good times. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. It's full moon today, so I will train something heavy in the Temple of Iron. XXO, boom!